What's up guys, Mr. John Font here. I'm gonna show y'all how to print a shirt. I got a, a sign, you know, these signs you see on the side of the road, but I had some fresh ones. And uh, this is a large shirt, and I just used these office clips to kind of get it a tight stretch. Sometimes I stretch it all the way or over the board, but the paint really doesn't seep through. Um, and then uh, I'm using the same brush for my white paint and my uh, black paint. I sound like a little bird. And so let's get this going. I got like a six inch roller. See, what I could do is squeeze a lot of that black paint off of there, which I already did earlier. Um, I wonder if I can do that into the bag. Let me just try an experiment. Um, I'm going to squeeze that down into the bag. I'm going to see if I can get some of that. I just did like uh, four shirts, and I ran out of black paint. So I was thinking, actually, when I thought, could I squeeze it into the bag? And then I'm like, I can do more black, depending on how much black I get out of this brush. And so let's go ahead and just squeeze that out. I can feel that squoze out a lot. I'm going to upload this to YouTube, guys. You can look me up on Facebook. Mr. John Fon, M-R-J-O-N-F-O-N. M-R-J-O-N, yeah, there's a good amount. And I just got paint all over the floor. That's okay. So let's roll this in here. Now I'm gonna put paint in here twice. And um, I was almost done and I actually started putting everything away. That's why everything was rolled up. And I said you got a little bit more energy, dude. You didn't do a good white one. So why you don't you just keep going until you do a good white one? So I did a really good black one and I'll show you I'll show you the four that I just did. And so I called my local uh, water department and I had to sign some waivers to get this. They say if you get hurt, it is not on us. You sign here and give us a copy of your ID that uh, that you're going you know you're assuming the risk of having a I don't know 200 pound manhole. And this paint is not going to hurt. I actually made sure to look up. The last thing I want to do is get in any trouble. That is the truth. And so this paint does not hurt uh, this cast iron. And there's a foolproof method that just gets this paint right off. And that's why I'm not even worried about it getting on the floor. Uh, but the once you treat the shirts in the dryer, that's another step that you won't see here. I let them dry. Out, out, you know, just in the air. And then once they dry, I throw them in the dryer. And um, just kind of immediately after the dry. Just enough so when I throw them in the dryer, they're not wet and it doesn't ruin the print. And so my first white one didn't have a deep print on it. And then my black one did and I had put so much black paint. I was like, oh, that's the way to go. You really got that paint on there. Okay, and this one's going to, is this wide enough to say historic district? It really is. I don't have enough paint for that. So I'm doing like that, and I'm not getting the strawberries and stuff. That's okay. Now, I usually put my finger where the, uh, where I want to make sure I don't have a print up here. I've printed too high on the shirt before. And um, I have my deal lined up. My shirt is square on the board. And then I just use my knees. And I keep setting my feet in my paint. I do this and boop, boop. And then I go over here and then I get my paint on the floor. I'm just making a mess, guys. That's all I'm doing. Um, but I rub it in. And it actually kind of feels good on my knee because this sign is kind of thick. I need to go this way. I just decided to go live. I should have put like clothes on. But that's okay. 
You can look me up on YouTube, Jonathan Fontana, MMA fights, AFC, AFC fights. And you can hit me up for one of these shirts, but you probably ain't going to want one if you're not in Plant City. You don't know what this manhole is all about. We enjoy the manhole. We're going to be doing some projects with the East Hillsboro Art Guild with this. And we have a meeting coming up to, fight, to continue to brainstorm. All right, guys, you ready? I gave it a massage. That's what you want. It's kind of hard. It's sticky. Yeah. I'm going to let you see it first. How'd I do? It's all right. I'm going to tell you. I see the black in there. Um, so let's compare it to the other ones that I might have done. Okay. This is a girl size like 16. Turned out great. The one I just did. This is a boy's, small boy's size 8, which is a fun one. Here's the first white one that I did and I'm like that didn't that didn't pop. You see it right there, but I wasn't crazy about it. And so this is the other white one. Um, and I messed it up. This city looks cool because the sea looks and the eye looks like 3D. And the train looks good. But look what happened over here. That's how you do it, guys. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching.